Hey guys, this is Brian with Nagios Enterprises, and today we are covering the initial configuration of our freshly installed Nagios Fusion 4. I'm actually pretty excited about this video because I get to show off one of the new exciting features of Fusion 4, which is the mapped server users. So, we are going to finish with our last initial setup task, configure your few servers. So you can either click this link or you can click the admin menu item, and then under the server section, click manage few servers, click fuse a server and we're going to add a Nagio 6i server I'm going to fill in my credentials here and then I'm going to click test fusion settings and you can see that once I've clicked that this little green checkbox shows up indicating to us that not only is the communication channel between the Fusion server and the Nagios XI server A-OK -okay, but that the credentials that I've selected to enter here are also correct. I'm also going to add my Fuse Key server which in Nagios XI versions uh, 5.4.0 and greater is available to you under the integration tab of your system settings. So now that I've entered my Fusion Key I'm going to test Fusion settings again, and you can see that the Fuse key has been authenticated as well as the username. And then from there I have the ability to override the polling settings that we talked about before in the global settings configuration video. And then I also have the ability to add some notes and a server location. And this is just for me to keep track of where my servers are. I can also set the time zone of the server that I'm fusing. And what's really cool about this is if you have servers in different time zones and you change the time zone of the server, then when the data is displayed relevant to time, it is adjusted so that it is, so that it is displayed in your local time. So now that I have my data in the Fusa server page, I'm going to click the Fuse Server button. And I have fused the server and you can see what was for a very short period of time uh, red X up here while the server was authenticating is now a green checkbox which means that everything is A-OK. -okay. So now that we have added the server we can go into our manage users page and we can edit one of the users so for example we've clicked to edit user 1 and then we have server user mapping. Wow, we have some users that actually line up with this server. And I did this uh, prior to making this video. I set up the users that are very similar to the ones that I was going to create on Fusion. So we've now mapped user one on our Fusion server to only be able to see the data that user 1 on the Nagios XI server can see. And we're going to do the same thing with user 2. Now once you've added a server, you can see up here that the server is available to you in the dropdown. And there are ways to configure your automatic logins, and we're going to get to those in just a little bit. So that's how you manage your few servers. If you have any problems along the way, you can stop over at the support forum, support.nagios.com forum, or you can check out the related content on the YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.